Up next on the Tesla Plaid channel. Wouldn't it be great if you could bump in somehow? Yeah, we're learning something new every time. Welcome back to the Tesla Plaid channel. Over the past year, we've had over 400 drag strip runs in our three different plaids. Lining up against the drag Last year we experimented with ways to bump in when staging. To those unfamiliar with the staging process, there's two staging bulbs at the drag strip starting line. And unless you'd like to embarrass yourself and the entire Tesla community by ignoring proper etiquette, the process of courtesy staging should be followed. This is where each driver takes just one staging bulb and then waits for the other driver to take one bulb before either car takes the second bulb. To help remember this, here's a phrase from one of my favorite YouTube channels. Think of it as boarding house rules. No one takes seconds until everyone has had first. So why is this? Well, if we rush up and take two bulbs, we're preventing the other driver from doing whatever staging process they need to do. Like building turbo boost, getting into their own launch control or whatever. So if someone repeatedly and selfishly takes two bulbs before the other driver rolls up, don't be surprised if someone comes up afterward wanting to uh, talk about it, or worse. And if you ever do it, whether accidentally or otherwise, be ready to offer a sincere apology to the other driver. Oops, sorry. I uh, staged up too far. I owe you an apology. I didn't mean to double bulb you like that. That was a uh, no, no. That's cool, man. I hope I didn't mess up your uh, staging. No, no, no. I'm on. I'm on low boost. I'm just yeah. checking gates. My car and... surges sometimes as I'm trying to come up, and, yeah. and then I get two bulbs. And it's like shit. Sorry, all, man. <laughs> okay. It's all good. So if we can only take one bulb, and then we've only got a couple of seconds until taking the second bulb, how can a plaid possibly get into launch control, which takes nine to eleven seconds on average? We've all seen those fast Tesla time slips with long reaction times because the driver would rather have the fastest ET possible and just ignore the other car. But what if we could have both our fastest ET plus our best reaction time? That's where bump in staging comes in. There's at least two ways to do it. First way is to take one bulb, stage up launch control before taking the second bulb, and then very slightly modulate the brake pedal to creep forward. You can see an example of that here. Okay, so for that bump in, I just inched off the brake the tiniest little bit, say from 100% pressure to like 95% pressure, and that allowed it to go forward that inch. This does take some practice and trial and error, because if you release the brake pedal more than just the slightest bit, the car will lunge forward, resulting in a missed stage or red light. A second way to bump in stage was discovered last September by one of the starters out at Showtime Drag Strip. Take a look at what Robert discovered here. I noticed when, yeah. you're, when the car is sitting and it's setting, it's etching forward a little bit. Is it? Yeah. So I'm wondering if we get you. Locked. I'm wondering if we get you just before that second beam and you start doing that and see what happens. If it don't work, then we can back it back out and do it again. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like it edges forward. It starts. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to intentionally go past, and that way yeah, when we'll I back up, I can. Happens here. I'm going to see if it does it. I can know where I'm at because I'm backing up through it. You know what I mean? Right. So just back. until it flickers out. Oh. Now see what happens. I'm Let's pretty dang close. All right. We did it. spot on <laughs> we're learning something new every time so it is a bit of a bump in that is wild <laughs>
So there we've seen two ways, each with their pros and cons. Some will prefer the first method since it doesn't require rolling through and backing up, but the drawback is that releasing a tiny amount of brake pressure is tough to do consistently. That second method shown doesn't require releasing the brake pedal at all, but it does require rolling through the beams and backing up. Experienced drag racers know that rolling through is actually a good thing that increases traction since it allows the tires to pick up more glue from the track. You want me to roll through? Who wants me to roll through? Let's do that. All right. But note that it's a bit tricky to stop the car just a fraction of an inch away from triggering that second bulb. I mean, it's got to be so dang I know, we, I know we did it before. I know, I know we did. We'll get it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. It seemed like that slight little roll that we got the other time, the first time we tried it, was partly luck and that we were, you know, a couple millimeters from tripping the light because it seems it really moves such a fraction of an inch on its own. If you need it to move any more, you've got to let some pressure off the brake. Yet another option is to have the starter hold the light for you. This of course only works if you've got a friendly starter, and it helps if you've got another plaid in the lane next to you, like I did here. Alright, I'm ready. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for it to drop. And of course, if you have a friend in the next lane, you could always ask him to let you double bulb them, like this time. And I'm gonna go in first, per our previous agreement. Remember, this is a pro tree now. There it goes. Oh, I got him on the light. I'm gonna get him. Or they could wait eight seconds after they take their first bulb before they take their second bulb. <laughs> And maybe there are additional ways. Let us know what's worked for you in the comments section. So please, for the sake of the Tesla community, always practice courtesy staging. And be sure to turn off your air conditioning at the drag strip. Nobody wants to be that guy. All right, there's a little water on the track there, but I think Robert got it all. And thanks for joining us here on the Tesla Plaid channel. Next on the Tesla Plaid channel. mode to bump in. What a huge development that is, my goodness. I can't tell you how many people have typed into the comments. Wouldn't it be awesome if there was some kind of a bump in mode or some way you could stage? You know, sometimes they call it cheetah mode, what it used to be, and now it's just launch control, but some way you could stage it up and then bump in. Well, that's what we just did. Awesome. 602, almost 121. Robert realized something that's a real breakthrough. I don't know if he uh, put it on the radio, but he noticed that when I'm in that staging up mode, the car creeps just a tiny bit forward. Ah. So what we did as an experiment on this run is I lit one bulb and I got right to the edge, but I didn't have the second bulb lit. And I staged it up oh. and it tripped the second bulb. Ah, okay. So everybody's been saying, wouldn't it be great if you could bump in somehow? Yeah. I just that bumped in. Just bumped in. Awesome. <laughs> All right, Tom. Oh. All right. I'm glad we tried that. You know, we almost left after that previous run. But, you know, you combine the experience of all these different people. I had no idea this car crept forward even an inch. You can't perceive it in the driver's seat at all. I mean, it if it moves, it's a half inch, an inch, but enough to trigger that second bulb. So now we're bumping in. <laughs> That's so awesome.